So there's actually quite a few hidden key combinations that let you unlock secret stuff within your Fire TV stick. For example, you can actually restart or reboot your Fire TV stick remotely from your remote with just a few key combinations. Or you can actually access things that are not even supposed to be accessed, like launching developer tools menu and whatnot. Anyway, this is Vamsi from Smartness Proxy, and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time we put out a new video that's quite helpful, like this one. Oh, by the way, we are talking about the new Fire TV Stick remote here, but it applies to most of the old Fire TV Sticks as well. So, without any further ado, let's begin. If your Fire TV Stick stops responding and you wish to restart it, but are too lazy to get up, then this trick will certainly come in handy. You can press and hold the select plus play button for about 10 seconds to initiate a forced restart. This is equivalent to pulling the power cable and plugging it back in. So if your Fire TV Stick remote isn't working, the first and obvious thing that you should do is check the batteries and if there's any actual physical damage to it. I have a dedicated video on fixing the Fire TV Stick remote, which you can check in the YouTube cards. However, if you know that the batteries are fine and there's no actual damage to your Fire TV Stick, the next thing you should do is actually reset your Fire TV Stick remote. Just hold the left menu and back buttons simultaneously for about 12 seconds. After you reset the remote, wait for about 10 seconds and then remove the batteries from your remote. Your remote is now reset so you can connect it to your Fire TV Stick. So unplug and replug the Fire TV Stick back in and wait for about a minute. Then put the batteries in into your remote. Lastly, press and hold the home button on your remote for about 10 seconds and then it should pair with your Fire TV Stick right away. So if you go to your Fire TV Stick's display settings, you'll have the option to switch between 720p 1080p and 2160p, which is 4K, which are all locked at 60Hz refresh rate. There are actually many more resolutions and refresh rate combinations that you can actually use. So if you want to access those, simply press and hold the up navigation button plus the rewind on your Fire TV Stick remote for about 5 to 10 seconds and the display will show the current resolution. The Fire TV Stick will cycle between all the available resolutions and refresh rate combinations that your TV supports. With this feature, you can drop down to about 420p if you want, which is useful if you're connecting to an older TV or a tiny display. It also allows you to switch between 24Hz and 30Hz refresh rate, which might better match the content you're watching at the time or playing. So if you have a remote with app shortcuts button at the bottom, like you know Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and etc., it's possible to remap most of those buttons to launch any app that you want. So in one of our previous videos, I showed you how to remap a Fire TV Stick remote in a way that if I press Netflix button, it'll open Disney Plus instead on the Fire TV Stick. For starters, you'd have to download the button reaper and select the apps that you want to replace with that. For a full tutorial, just check out the video in the YouTube cards, which will pop up now. Okay, this one's my favorite one so far, and not a lot of people know about this since it recently came out. So if you have a device running Fire OS 7, which includes 3rd gen Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Stick Lite and Fire TV Stick 4K Max, then your remote can control the volume of your headphones or speakers connected via Bluetooth. So all I have to do is go to Bluetooth settings and I can just see the volume buttons on your remote to change the volume on your AirPods. How cool is that? For those who are visually impaired or have a hard time seeing, the Fire TV Stick has a feature called Voice View that will read out what is currently highlighted on the screen. To enable Voice View, press and hold the back button plus the menu button simultaneously for about 5 seconds. Movies, three, TV shows, horror, 9 of 10, 5, 3 of 2, Netflix, YouTube. Another Fire TV Stick for the visually impaired users is to use the screen magnifier, which allows you to zoom in and out and pan around the interface so that you can see things more clearly. So if you want to enable or disable the screen magnifier, press and hold the back plus the fast forward button simultaneously for about 5 seconds. So this one is one of the most frequently used features that I discovered accidentally. So just by long pressing the home button on the remote, it opens the quick settings where you can access mirroring option, settings, and even put your Fire TV stick to sleep. It's really convenient and awesome. Well, that's it from me now. I'm Vamsi again. And if you're new here, check out smartdsproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on your Fire TV stick, like HBO Max, because it's only available in US, and Netflix US, which has tons more titles than any other country in the world. You can just unblock all those for about five bucks a month, which is bugger all, yeah? 
as always. And Vamsi again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.